Well, welcome back to Crazy Bill's Garage, and today I've got a little something different for you here for a used filter. <sighs> we got a torque converter oil filter. It's a Denso. So it's a made in Japan one, Denso. And yeah, torque converter oil filter. Now, what does it say here? Uh, I'm take the glasses off here to read it. Um, after 200 hours operation, uh, every, wow, Titan filter replace filter when changing torque converter oil. So it goes in some sort of a torque converter, uh, I guess. Uh, are we talking uh, vehicle engine? Does anybody know anything about this? These. I'm going to take it apart and take a look at it. Uh, 32670-1262071. And yeah, like I said, made in Japan. So are we talking uh, Japanese equipment here or some sort of a, you know, uh, Toyota, Nissan, Subaru, any of the Japanese made vehicles use these? I'm not sure. Do these go in transmissions? I'm not sure again. I do know. Got a very cool pattern on the bottom. Isn't that pretty? And it's got a red, uh, looks like a red sort of uh, anti-drain. It does have an anti-drain back uh, on it. So that's kind of neat too. So I'm going to cut this uh, filter open. We'll take a good look at her. Hopefully it'll be something that's interesting and different. But I don't know. Well, I guess I'll just cut her open. <sighs> we'll see how thick she is. I pause it, but I can't pause while wearing these gloves because my camera uh, doesn't like my uh it's touch sensitive with heat my camera to pause and it won't pause with these gloves on it will with the other ones i wear on but not these ones so oh my word this is wow okay okay i gotta i gotta maybe i can just cut all this out of the video no, I'll probably make you watch it. Oh, I ripped my glove. Oh, man. Okay, it's finally cracking through. Yeah, actually, a couple of more turns, and it actually did break through. <sighs> that was the only glove I had for that hand. So, I don't have any more of those gloves, so that's that's not fun. Dang it. And Man, I gotta get this coat off. Okay, let's get back to this. Some of this, oh, we got an interesting filter here. Oh, I gotta find a glove somewhere. So, I did find a white glove. So, the, the thing, uh, you know, you know. So, let us get a look at here. So, there it is. It's not very heavy. I'm supposing you can tell this is some sort of orange no orange reddish fluid so i'm guessing transmission fluid of some sort it does have an interesting make and now i'm dripping it all over the place oh, oh well that's fine i can wipe that up uh, how many threads this have one there's four threads on this filter and uh eight holes smaller holes but they look fine and we have the silicone anti-drain back. And it's kind of just like a normal silicone anti-drain back. But here's an interesting thing I wanted to look at. <laughs> we got... Oh, that is a thick can. Okay. Just to tell you, I, I've got to measure that thick can there to see. I'm, I'm guessing it would be... Uh, thicker than normal oil uh, filter cans. I think it's probably in an area where it might get lots of, uh, you know, uh, something from the road may hit it, I'm guessing. So let me see here. It did take a while to cut this can apart. 
So we got 45 there. And 51 there. We'll try here. And 49 there. So it's pretty thick. It's not a, uh, a super skinny can. I think uh, at all it's actually pretty good it's above standard I would say and yeah it, it is nice and thick but this filtration this is something I don't know anything about this filtration whatever is this filtration is and if what could this work inside oil filters hmm but it is how to explain this? It feels very uh, feels kind of like um, uh, it's hard to explain what it feels like, but I'll try. Feels like they wrapped. Um, oh heck, I forget the name of those. Uh, you, know, you can buy those kind of like Brillo pads or whatever, and you can sand with them and everything. It just feels like a whole bunch of that. And this actually does have a uh, bypass valve in it, which is very strange, I must say. And I think I damaged that bypass valve when I, when I uh, drilled the hole in the top. I think I went through and hit it and I think I damaged it so I'm pretty sure that was me not this filter so I was going to try to cut through this and show you this kind of filtration it kind of looks like it's built to have good flow but only cut so far so it's kind of kind of an interesting material here it's kind of like got a sandpaper feel to it so I don't think I'll be able to cut through it it's got all these things through it here and I broke that off but uh, could this work and uh, now we got the phone. So there we are. I was able to snap away some of this. And, uh, it does, it looks like it holds particles of good size. It is kind of like a material that you can get through here. And um, on the inside, it's pretty smooth. And it's just layer after layer of some type of material here for uh, the filtering of this filter. So this is definitely an interesting filter. And who knows if they could use this type of filtration for uh, you to use in uh, car engines. Um, I'm not sure. I guess they use it in some sort of transmission or, you know, the torque uh, converter oil. So, uh, pretty neat filter. It's fun to look at. Uh, see this different type of construction. That was actually really neat. So, yeah, this is uh, something that I've never seen before. And uh, now I've seen it. And hopefully it, uh, you know looks good but um that'll do it for this one thanks for watching i sure hope this one filmed okay i can now look at my camera and see that it's not uh doesn't look like it's working right but uh we'll get back to you later all right thanks for watching